Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be showing you all how to go from looking in the viewfinder to this. But I saw a lot of people on YouTube showing how they connect their camera to their laptop to make sure that it's like focusing in and everything. Now my last camera had the viewfinder on top of it. It had a flip out on top which was so much better than it being on the side because you have to keep looking to the side to make sure you're in focus. But my other camera, I just look like one time and I mean I just looked directly in it the whole time and it looked like the entire time I was looking at you guys but really I was looking into the viewfinder and looking up and down but you can't even really see me looking up and down so whatever so anyway I'm gonna be shooting tonight so I was just like well let me just see how this works so here's the tutorial right here Hey guys, so I don't have a CD disc driver on my MacBook Air, so I had to actually go to the Canon site to um, download everything that I needed. So the way that I did it was um, I went to like Shop Canon, but then it ended up taking me here to um, USACanon.com. So in the search bar, I typed in T5i software. After that, I went down to drivers and software, then took me down to the same thing once again and it immediately picked up what operating system I'm using on my Mac which is the OS system. I then went to uh, software and I picked out which ones I wanted. You need, let me see if I can see it, yeah you're gonna need that one. So you know I read the terms just to make sure that was the one I wanted. I clicked on it, I accepted the terms and I downloaded it. Um, your next step is to find your serial number. That was very difficult for me. It was actually on the outside of the box, on the side, on a big white like barcode. That's where it was. So it actually took me a few times to do it. So I clicked on the download link at the bottom uh, left hand corner just so it could like open up and I could get everything started. So I picked the folder, tapped on it. And it's opening right now. Then I just clicked on that little downward arrow after I clicked out of all that stuff kind of like in the background. Then I opened it. Just got to wait for it to extract the files and stuff. So I picked my country. <laughs> Weird enough, that was a hard part. <laughs> And this part was hard too, but my country was already highlighted, so I just needed to press next. Uh, at first I was like, easy installation, but no, actually I wanted to do the custom installation because, um, ended up picking that because I want to pick out what I'm installing, and you only need like the first three, because, well, in my opinion, because that's what worked for me. I just didn't want all that extra stuff like on my computer taking up space. So yeah, so anyway, I clicked on that, I accepted the terms, and I had to put in my password for my computer to start the install. So it started everything. I mean, we're already on step four, and I had to download it. That's the image professional. I don't really use it, but you never know. It could honestly come in handy, so we'll see. So anyway, while I wait for that to install, um, it took me to the picture style editor. Once again, these are just the different steps inside of each step. So I'm just going to let you guys look at it, but i already been through it, so I don't really care. <laughs> and it actually didn't take that long to download. So it just takes you back to show you everything you downloaded. So I didn't want to register, but you guys can register. Um, Image Gateway is something that I think I already have from my last Canon. So if I want it, I'll just have to redo the whole thing, but I'm, I have a feeling I'm not going to do it. Then I had to restart the entire computer. So when you restart it, it takes you here to this window, and that opens up to view yourself. You're going to click on the third one down, the camera settings and remote shooting. So yeah, so then it took me here. You guys, I always get nervous doing these voiceovers on my laptop, like the screen shooting, because I'm like, what if I have like lesbian porn downloaded? So anyway, there I am, and I can see myself, and I'm just kind of like focusing in on everything. So there you guys go. So that's how you do it. Right now I'm actually doing it right now on my laptop. So you can all see kind of like what 
well that it actually works and everything but yeah if you guys have any questions or anything just let me know and i will definitely try to help as much as i can um you know i'm not really like a super techie person but i like technology more than i do like fashion and really like makeup and hair and things like that so um i will definitely figure it out so anyway guys have a good day and if you need any help just let me know bye bye